My position and the bloc's position is uh, clear. Mr. Morneau and Mr. Trudeau, and I would add uh, Ms. Telford, should all resign because it would be better to keep a certain stability in the government to manage the crisis. But we're getting to the point where we have to ask this question. What's worse? Is it worse to find ourselves in an election campaign than to leave people at the wheel who uh, are managing this financial scandal and who have really uh, done a dubious job of managing taxpayers' money. What's worse? Of course, it wouldn't be our first choice to trigger an election. And um, I have I don't care about the numbers that are that we're seeing currently, but I think if it's necessary, we will do it. If that's the case, will the NDP have the courage? And if it's the case, will the conservatives' legitimate beefs, will they result in launching and triggering an election? And let's ask ourselves also, what is an election? It's uh, people are asked to take 20 or 30 minutes of their time to go and vote, and the chief electoral officer must already have uh, started to work on physical distancing measures that would be necessary in the case. It's probably easier in October than in December, if we think about the temperatures. And the Speaker of the House, I'm sure, has also um, started to think about these measures if in the case they're necessary. So, the question will be asked in the following weeks as to whether or not the government really has acted as they should have in, under the circumstances. That is to say, whether Mr. Trudeau leaves, Mr. Morneau, and if Trudeau leaves, of course, we'll imagine that Ms. Telford will, would leave as well. Or are they going to... Uh, protect the crown as well. So the, our demands are clear and our questions are clear as well. We will continue to support what is good for Quebec and will oppose what is bad for the province of Quebec. But we'll have to come to that question very soon. Thank you.